Hi, this is Nicole Winham and this is part 7 of e-commerce. In this video, we are going to focus on the different opportunities you have when setting up your shopping cart and the checkout process. A number of layouts are used during the checkout process. You have complete access to these layouts and can customize them in detail. The checkout process basically consists of three steps. It's important to know that the checkout steps for customers who wish to purchase versus those who wish to get a code is different. This approach allows you to customize each workflow to suit your business needs. Now starting with the shopping cart layout, go to Site Manager, Module Templates, Online Shop Layouts and select Shopping Cart. This layout details all the products in the cart, including taxes, costs, and total. This is where the customer chooses the relevant shipping options and or discount codes. Every field, color, layout, and options on this page are completely customizable. Check out the complete list of available tags for this layout on this slide of the presentation right here. The registration by layout. The registration form is basically the final step of the checkout process and it comes after the customer clicks on the checkout button in the shopping cart. This form collects customers' details such as name, email address, shipping address, billing address, all the payment details and it can collect anything else you want to collect because this registration form is really just a standard form that has been placed under this layout. The form that is used for this registration form can be found under Site Manager, Web Forms, and when you click on Online Shop Purchase Form, you can customize, remove, or add more fields to this form. If you wish to add an additional field to the registration form, you need to go to either this form or any other form that you're using for the checkout process. You then need to choose which field you want to add to the form. For example, a lot of fields are already covered under the e-commerce tab. And if not, you can always add your custom fields to this form. If, for example, you wanted to add a field, there will be a checkbox that will have have you read terms and conditions next to it. You will type in terms and conditions in the field name field for the field type checkbox list. And for the item, you would enter have you read etc. and possibly make this field required. And once you click on save, it will be added to the bottom of this form here. After you've added all your custom fields, you will need to go back to Site Manager and Module Templates, go to Online Shop and click on Registration By, then select the old form, make sure everything is cleaned out, and then use the Module Manager, click on Web Forms, Web form, online shop purchase form, and click on insert. Now when we scroll down in that view here, you see that our terms and conditions field has been added to somewhere <laughs> in that form. And you can always go back into the HTML mode and move the fields to the desired position. Now if you want to add or remove unwanted payment options, you need to find the payment options here. So by default, quite a few possible payment options are being displayed here. And to add a new payment method, switch over to HTML view, find the input fields here, and then check out the resources that will help you determine what value you need to add in order to make your payment method work. It is easier now to just remove the payment methods that you don't need by just highlighting the part of the HTML and hitting delete and then hit save. The same goes if you need to remove or add countries from this form. Find the country drop down and simply highlight all the countries that you don't need, probably except for the United States, and delete it. And once you're done, remember to click save. The registration quote form is very much similar to the purchase layout that I just explained. However, it is using the form called Online Shop Quote Form that you can alter and add it under Site Manager, Web Forms and Online Shop Quote Form. The Receipt By layout is similar than the Receipt Quote layout. This is the receipt and confirmation page for the purchase made on your e-commerce store. Again, this page is very much customizable and can include any number of transaction related information. Please make sure you check out the Tag Insert drop down here to make sure this tag is available for this layout or check out the list of all available tags for this layout on this slide of this presentation.